I definitely love this way more in terms of performance and handling than any competitor that I've driven. It's just such a great package. Let's go. Thanks for a sec. And then we go. Hello there, everyone. Welcome to DM Car Vs. Today we have a 2024 BMW 330i xDrive on our channel. I want to say a huge shout out to BMW of Annapolis for providing me this car. But let's go take a look at this vehicle outside first. Start it up and I will share some of my impressions with you and we're going to go take it for a nice scenic highway drive. Do some zero to 60 testing as always. And I'm super excited to share my impressions with you about this car. Now I've been driving this car for quite some time now and I gotta say, I've been loving this vehicle. Truly, for a base model 3 Series, you cannot ask for anything more than this because everything so far about this car, I've absolutely loved. The comfort, the suspension, the handling, the performance. And I've always thought, you know, it's just a base model 330i, you know, nothing much, it's just a regular 3 Series, but no, this is actually a sports car in a suit. Let's check out the rear seat. And here we have soft touch materials, this beautiful cognac interior. Now this is the Sensatec interior. It is not the leather, but I gotta say, I love BMW Sensatec and Sensafin products because they are so resistant to wear and tear and they feel exactly like real leather. They're not as hot during the summer days when you sit in them and they're much softer and comfier than the leather options. That is just my personal observation. Some will agree, some will, but that's that's how I prefer it. So hopping in the back here, I'm 6'2", and there's actually a good amount of legroom sitting behind myself. Everything is soft, feels nice. We got the cup holders here. You can just pull this out whenever you need to use it. We got the black sporty headliner, some lights here in the back. We also have a climate system here. You can set the temperature where you want the air to blow or keep it on auto. You also got the fast chargers, the USB ports. And it's a great rear seat to be in. This is much better than the rear seat of a Julia or in a four way nicer incline and you sit here more like in a 5 series rather than a 3 series i would say this is comparable to the e60 in terms of rear size now let's go take a look at the trunk space despite this being a base model 3 series this doesn't have the heads up no air gestures none of that it still has an automatic tailgate plenty of space on the back for your suitcases take a look at the engine bay with BMW just pull it up twice and it opens the hood this is the b48 engine I believe this specific one pumps out about 258 horsepower around 260 and I think 295 feet pound of torque now I've really grown to love this engine in the past few days what a magnificent stellar powertrain this is let me actually check, make sure the hood is, is fully closed. It's such a perfect engine in my opinion. It sounds wonderful. There we go. Sounds sporty. It's super duper efficient. Even when you're going through mountains and a lot of up and downs at highway speeds, it still consumes very little gas, even in sport mode. And the nice thing about the Sensatec here is that the sides here, they don't really wear out. Even over after 100,000 miles, they still keep up their shape beautifully, unlike leather where it will just go all the way down through here and it'll be like just a crease, a big crease. You also have the lumbar. Well, let's hop inside this cabin. So we are greeted to super comfortable front seats. 
these are the same seats that you will find in the bmw x3 and x4 and honestly they're one of my favorite bmw seats thus far you can take four five six ten hour road trips in these and you'll feel great they have good side support that they keep you nice and cozy but they're not overly stiff and they don't have that aggressive side bolstering like for example the audi s4 or s5 seats now i always mention that car because those are some of the tightest front sport seats that i've been in and i actually had an audi s5 myself i'm sure if you're familiar with the channel you've seen plenty of videos about that car but talking about the infotainment i've never really had that much time to spend with with the iDrive eight and a half but after living with it for a few days I've absolutely fell in love with this setup and it's just so easy to use. It's very intuitive. This is my favorite infotainment in the business easily. You got your personal assistant, your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Um, you can also look at all your alerts here. You also got your tire pressure monitor. For example, with Audis, you only get that in the RS5 model. You don't get it in the um, base or more base trims like the s5 or the a5 whatever it is content let's do adaptive content it also shows you what you're what you're showing here um yeah the gas mileage has been great on this car i've been loving it we have a sunroof right here we have our glove box got some storage space here our charger we also have eco mode comfort sport and 90 percent of the time i've really been just driving comfort it's perfect for the best of both worlds it's smooth and it's uh, peppy i've been loving it let's do a wiper test of course okay horn test let's do a backup camera test see how this is now I've been very impressed with the performance of this car let me just say this and I'm not gonna talk about it much I'd rather just show you in action how it feels and how it drives but let me just say this it's very impressive So as far as the ride and the handling, flawless. It's super nimble, got excellent feedback, but it has more comfortable steering than per se the Julia. I like the ratio here more and I like how it's not overly aggressive, but rather the right dose of aggressiveness. See? And I don't even have to press more than 15, 20% on the throttle to get up to speed quickly so we also have a few other options here we have our ambient lighting which i love here at night it looks beautiful i mean you have your settings here your driver assistance safety systems lane keeping aid auto start you know auto braking blind spot and bmw really uses the best technology nowadays when you show your blinker, you get a vibration in the wheel. You can see it in that triangle over there too. My favorite system as well. And then we have interior lighting here. So you can change the color that you want at night. And it looks gorgeous. Let me just say that. Now, as far as the ride, it is pleasant to the sportier side, but I can drive this car for hours and I will not be tired whatsoever brakes are responsive sharp they will stop the car from any speed no matter how fast you're going it will stop it effectively too so you can be going at a very high speed and press the brakes and you're good to go and i like the sound of this engine too it's torquey there's so much power at 2000 2500 3500 and it also revs out all the way to almost like six and a half something like that we'll see and there's power everywhere across the rev range no matter where you go you can also change the layout of the virtual cockpit 
so whatever whatever works best for you you can go like this you can set it to show the map or the g-forces music yeah so whatever works best for your taste I've been loving this setup and I think this is the best virtual cockpit that I've personally used it's not intrusive it's not annoying and it just has a very simple and relevant gauge cluster here also as far as space for my height being 6'2 I feel very comfortable here there is ample space there is lots of headroom lots of shoulder room I can put my elbow right here and have a passenger next to me put their elbow and we will feel absolutely comfortable the cars nowadays are getting so much bigger than they used to be back in the day so now a 3 series would be very comparable to an older 5 series like of the 2005-2006 era the E60 visibility I give it a solid A plus I can see everything around me there's virtually no blind spots the pillars are the right size I can see everything around let's put her over to sport mode there's just such a perfect balance of power to handling here and the screen personally I have been in love with this setup it's like an HD TV with a curved display super easy to see crystal clear quality but let's take a minute to enjoy this gorgeous view right here also got our front heated seats as well such a playful chassis back in the summertime I got to drive the M3 X drive on the track up in New York and while that car was just mind-blowing how capable it was and well balanced it was this is not far off surprisingly we also don't have the M Sport package here none of these features like the adaptive M suspension we don't have any of that here but despite all of that it still performs wonderful but let's go hit the highway now speeds despite the strong wind today feels super planted I don't really feel any speed on this car it just glides with comfort even on sport mode you give it a little bit of input and that's it. it it goes all it needs Another thing that I want to point out is how good the seating position here is. You can see the hood, the lines. It's very easy to tell the proportions of this car and just where you're going when it's a tight space.
you can see power here is not a problem at almost 90 miles an hour we're going to 2000 rpm so you can you can just guess how efficient this car is Even though this is not the M steering wheel, it still feels super comfortable in my hands. It's got good grips. And it's very informative, very direct. Also, the other cool part here is that you don't need to add virtually any effort to get the car going. You can be going 80, 90, whatever speed, you give it 20% of gas, boom, it goes. No need to even push it. It's so good. See if we want to pass them, we we'll give it a little bit of gas, but yeah, there's a car right there, so, but yeah. This is about 20%, it's like 15, 20% throttle. Into turns, I don't feel any body lean. It feels like it just glues to the road. You can be taking a corner at triple speeds like this and it just glues to the road. Let's go hop back into comfort and enjoy a more chill drive, I guess. Something just more relaxed. So you get the gist of the performance of this car, how effortless and powerful it is. Even in comfort mode, you don't even have to apply any, any effort to get going. So the main question is, do you really need an M340i? The answer is, you really don't. You don't need an M340i. This already is so good and so powerful. It hits the top speed limiter very quickly. And this is the crazy part, is just how well this engine is made. In the transmission, you can feel those fast shifts in sport. 
Like if you go to the transmission sport shift mode, I'll give you a little demonstration here once we move over. So you can be going about 70, give it some gas. And that's it, you're just flying. That was of course full, you know, I gave it all it's got, but you don't need to do that here. If you go about 60% on the throttle, it's perfect. That's it, this is 60% right now. It's that quick. And my favorite part here is actually the manual mode. So if you wanna know how to drive this car fast and utilize all its power, you gotta learn how to use the manual mode here. If you're rolling, put it to about three, 4,000, probably around 4,000 is where it's at, add in and go. This is where the real power's at. About three and a half to four, this is where you want to start off when you're accelerating in this car. But yeah, let's go back to drive now. S, okay, and drive. All right, let's go back to drive now and let's go do a quick run here on the zero to 60. I've already done some runs. I've already set some good times for this car. You will see two videos. You will see one from another day and one from today. So that way you can get a comparison of the performance and the road, a slope, see how it affects that. All right, so let's do a quick zero to 60. This will be the first run. I'm not gonna do any launch. I already did it. So three, two, one, let's go. Thanks for a sec. And then we go. 6.07, excellent. So let's see the times. So zero to 60, actually I did better than in my other runs. Zero to 60 came in at 5.99. 0 to 62 came in 6.31, 40 to 80, 5.84, 1 eighth mile in 9.23 at 79.76, and 60 to 100 was 8 seconds flat, and 0 to 100, 14.7. Quarter mile was 14.13 at 100.75, and this is a verified perfect slope, 101.1 here. Very good times. Three, two, one, let's go. Six point zero three, same exact time. Alrighty. Again, zero to sixty, same time, virtually identical. Forty to eighty five point eight and uh one eighth mile at nine point twenty six at seventy nine point ninety six. So we actually feel like we gained a little bit of speed right there, just a little bit. But how impressive is that? I gotta say, these are some excellent, excellent times. All right, so let's do it. All right, three, two, one, let's go. the times we did 0 to 60 in 6.17 seconds valid then we did 0 to 62 in 6.45 valid 40 to 85.73 1 eighth mile 9.33 at 80 miles per hour 80.12 60 to 100 7.8 and then 62 to 100, 7.5. And 0 to 100 and 14.02. And then let's see the quarter mile. Uh, quarter mile was 14.2 at 101.3. So very good times, but I'm certain that we can do better. And I definitely know we can do better. We're going to also disable the uh, stability, uh, the DSC, we're gonna put it to traction. That way we can get to boost it and get some good shifts in there. And then I also wanna do one more run this way. It 
But yeah, this performance here is very impressive. Very impressive. Reset the draggy. All right. All right, three, two, one, let's go. capabilities excellence stellar cornering and let's check the times here all right so zero to 60 came in 6.08 uphill and this is actually uphill um zero to 62 and 6.36 so we did better and 40 to 80 6.05 and the one eighth mile 9.33 at 78.89 obviously like i said it is uphill as you can see it's 0 0.2 up so it's a little bit slower than that way, but that's okay. I mean, six seconds off idle right there, that's impressive. All right, booster up, let's go. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. All right, so let's look at the time. So zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds, verified. Zero to 62 in 5.39, also verified. 40 to 80 in 5.67. One eighth mile, 8.64 at 80.85. 60 to 100, 7.99. 90 and zero to 113.09, and the quarter mile was a 13.49 at 101.5. Now, when I tested the A4, it was definitely a cooler day, and I think the DA was also better than here. I think it also did something like a 13.4-ish. If I think, if I'm guessing correctly, it was somewhere around that range too, I feel like. I'd have to go look at the video just to compare. 13.49 with the bigger wheels. That is very impressive at 101.5. Now I think if I was on another road with a little more of a straight straight um, incline, because this one has a little little small incline down, it's not it's pretty pretty minor, but it would probably be around like 101 maybe 100.5 around like that 101 number. Um, so the, yeah, the performance between the two cars between this, the Julia and the A445, is it's such a close clutch such a close race. And the A4, if it was tested today in these conditions, would probably be pulling about a 13.5 or 13.6. Because the day that I tested the A4, it was a really nice day. I have, you know, like, like here I have 93rd gas and there was 93rd gas as well. But the, the DA was, I think, more favorable than here. So I'd have to go back to the video and check. All right, let's do some back road driving now. See how she feels on those back roads. Excellent, excellent stability, great download pickup. It's got a lot of download torque. Beautiful shifts. I love this. Right, let's slow down here. Excellent turn in. I definitely love this way more in terms of performance and handling than any competitor that I've driven. It's just such a great package. Add the heads-up display, add the M Sport suspension, and you really have a track car. <laughs> and this engine too is very tunable. If you can get the ECU unlocked, the B48 can definitely hold a very good amount of power. Can't imagine how good a stage one here would be. But you don't even need a stage one here. It, it's already perfect the way it is.
but thank you so much for watching everyone please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below what you thought about this test drive and this 3 series i gotta say i've absolutely loved this car in every single aspect of it the comfort the performance the acceleration the brakes the handling seriously if i can give this car any rating it's going to be an a plus 10 out of 10 for every single criteria that i possibly have it's incredible what a deal this is for the money but make sure to smash the like and subscribe button and till next time